welcome to the session on ISH. As mentioned at the beginning of today's video, we are going to be exploring this really, really exciting application that allows you to have a Linux terminal on either your iPhone or your iPad. Now, if you go to a client location or if you get somewhere and you realize the only thing you have in your bag or pocket is an iOS device, Linux terminal will be particularly helpful for you. Now, this is Alpine Linux, so this isn't a full-blown version of Linux, and there are going to be some limitations. I am going to demonstrate what you can use ISH for, and this GitHub page, which I have open at the moment, I've pretty much learned everything which I'm going to demonstrate from this page here so far. There is not a lot of research out there on ISH, but this is going to focus on some of the basics and how you can use some tools inside Alpine Linux to conduct reconnaissance. I've got another couple of tabs which I'll put underneath the video so you can see the current version of Alpine Linux and what is in store for us in future developments and also a link to the application as well. Now, if you head over to your app store, you can download the one in the top right hand corner here. So ISH, ISH Shell. I've got a new version of this installed on my iPad. And to start with, we are going to check out this custom message here. Now, if your screen is white and if you're wondering how I got into dark mode, just go to the settings icon at the bottom, go into appearance and you will be able to play around with the font size. In fact, I'm gonna change my font size now and some of the other options here. Now, what I want to do is I want to set up a custom message when I open up ISH rather than it saying welcome to Alpine. So to do that, you're gonna to need to install Nano to begin with. So I'm gonna type in APK, add, and then Nano. Now I already have this installed, so it's not gonna go through the installation process, but for you it will. And then the next thing which we are going to do is we are going to go into this directory etc and then we're going to open up this file which is motd so we're going to do cd dot dot ls we're going to log into etc and then we're going to go to nano and then motd and what we are going to do here you're not going to be able to see anything at the beginning right and i was a bit confused when i started editing this as well you're going to need to type something for welcome to alpine to be visible and here you can create your own custom message and I'm gonna say this video on ISH has been created by Steam Labs. So those of you which are watching, thank you very much. If you don't have an uh if you don't have a, a keyboard for your iPad, I'd recommend that you get one to exit. You press on Control X. So you're gonna to need to press on this symbol and then X if you're not using the touch keyboard and then yes to save and then enter. Now, if we close this application and reopen it again, let's see if our new message is there. And there we go. Now, it says at the beginning, you're gonna to need to use this command to install packages and this is a particularly helpful command and some of the things which we are going to have a look at today is going to be git but in order for us to use git we are going to have to install git so we're going to do apk add and then git so this is a new installation of ish on my ipad and then what we are going to be able to do is clone different tools which are available on github now, if you are looking for different applications that are available, and if you can't find it on that website, which I showed you here, so this GitHub page for ISH, what you can do over here in your terminal window is you can type in APK search, and then one of the tools that I am gonna be demonstrating to begin with is going to be SSH. So I don't think that this is a tool which is available or I think it's actually open SSH. So we'll be able to see what is returned. And this is the one which we are looking for here. It's gonna be open SSH. So we found the package. So I'm now gonna type in APK add and I'm gonna type in open SSH. Now, 
This is particularly useful. So if you are on an iOS device, and let's just say you want to connect to a Raspberry Pi within your network, or let's just say a Mac or a Windows based machine, we can do this from our iOS device. So in this case, I am using an iPad. Now we have got OpenSSH installed. If we wanted to connect to our Raspberry Pi or any other device, we will type in SSH and then a name which is being used for that device. And my IP address is 192.168.1.104. And what this is going to allow me to do is going to say, are you sure you want to continue connecting to this device here? And do you want to accept the fingerprint? I'm going to press on yes. And then it's going to prompt me for the password for this device, which I'm not sure if I remember the password. So let's see. And again, and we're going to now be able to see I am on that Raspberry Pi. If I now type in who am I, we're going to be able to see my name is now Raspberry Pi. So this is probably one of the first uses of ISH, one of the things which you can use it for, and one of the things which you can use to remotely connect to devices if the only thing you have on you is either an iPhone or an iPad. Now, I do have a keyboard attached to my iPad to make this a lot easier. So I'd recommend if you're using an iPad, try to use an external keyboard, just so it doesn't take you forever to type in the commands with the online keyboard.